the next problem we have a sequence a sub n given by cosine 2 over n okay so here we will use the continuity tools to solve this problem so remember that basically in order to find out whether this sequence convergent or divergent is we need to compute the limit of a sub n as n goes to infinity so the limit <coughs> n approaches infinity of cosine 2 over n now by c recall that cosine x is a, is a continuous function so by continuity the limit of f of x is the same thing as f of the limit so it is by continuity of the cosine function it is equal to the cosine of the limit n approaches infinity of 2 over n so whenever the function is continuous you can put the limit inside the parenthesis so now we can easily solve this problem because we know that as n approaches infinity the denominator is getting bigger and bigger so the whole thing is getting smaller and smaller approaches zero okay so this limit is equal to zero and we know that cosine of zero is one so that's the answer so thus the sequence converges the next problem we have the function a sub n given by arctangent of twice of n try to compute the limit of a sub n as n approaches infinity and this is again by continuity of arctangent it is equal to the arctan of the limit n approaches infinity of 2n so we can think of this as arctan of because the limit of the term inside the parenthesis in, is infinity so we can just put infinity actually this is kind of abusing the notation because infinity itself is not a number but for the practical purposes we can assume that arctangent infinity has a value which is pi over 2 because we know that the graph of the tangent so here is negative pi over 2 2 pi over 2 and the graph of the tangent something like that and the arc tangent is defined on this interval from negative pi over 2 and pi over 2 and we can assume that the value of tangent by abusing the notation we can assume I mean we can write that tangent of pi over 2 is infinity so then the arctan of infinity is pi over 2 by abusing by abusing the notation okay so that's the problem involving the continuity property of the function See you on the next problem.